guys, another day, another vlog. Uh, on our way to the post office, got a bunch of wrap orders to ship off today, and we're also actually gonna make some progress on the Corvette. Like, it needs some work done. We're gonna fix that front splitter. We're gonna switch out those emblems. A lot of little things we're gonna do. It's all gonna happen today. <laughs> well, that is a, that's a big box. Also got some more goods from Amazon, so we're gonna, we're gonna trick this thing out, I think. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I can even install this without a lift. So, we're gonna have to find the lift, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna be brutally honest. When I first bought this thing, I was actually kinda worried that people were gonna make fun of me and be like, why'd you buy a grandpa car? Actually, a few people did, you know who you are. But it turns out like, and not to like gloat or anything, like I've gotten a lot of compliments and it feels really good. It is a head turner. It is a little bit of grandpa car, but with this spec, I mean, no one can really talk too much smack on it. So I feel good, good purchase. Oh, okay, one thing I don't love are those dips though. Ah, right, we're good. What's kind of funny too is I haven't even done anything to this car. Like the front splitter is literally still torn off. I haven't even touched it, but people still think it's a cool car. So yeah, I don't know. Just, it, it makes you feel good. It makes you regret your purchase just a little bit more. So yeah, I'm happy. Gotta move the Tesla real quick. Wow. <laughs> you know, you're in the kid's car when Coco Melon is playing. We're gonna just go ahead and Look at that. Every time I look at it, I just, ah, there's something about it, man. I can't explain it. It's my least favorite part. Try not to scrape the front end. Thankfully, the splitter's already been torn off, so we can't really do much more damage there. Back, can you get any closer? Okay, well, that's not like terribly close, but it still makes me nervous. And by the way, if I may, I know we got so much garbage in here. It's all just recycling cardboard. It's the holiday season, you know? What are you gonna do? And all that, I mean, that's just called having a new house and not knowing where to put everything. So, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> okay, what I just realized is that these ramps, they need to be low profile. Otherwise, I'm not even gonna be able to bring the car up onto them let alone bring it back down with the new splitter. I'm literally gonna, I'll literally put it up and then I'll put the new splitter on and then I'll pull it down and it's gonna scrape the whole way. So we're just gonna lay on the ground. We're gonna do it like a, like a hobo. So slight problem, it's not really a Big problem. I didn't know this was gonna be like a glossy black. Like look at the old splitter. This is definitely like, I don't even know, a very matte, just like rough black plastic. I mean, I guess that's better. I don't know. I just, that's not what I expected. But I mean, I'd rather have a splitter that's shiny than whatever the heck that is, so. What's weird is that this little side skirt, I mean, it's dirty, but it's shiny. Why? So why is that shiny? And this shiny and that over there is shiny, but this is like, you know, that rough matte black. And then, I mean, but who decides that? Like whose job is it at GM to say, oh, that one's gonna be shiny, that one's gonna be matte. And then this one, for whatever reason, we're gonna make it shiny again. Who's calling the shots here, seriously? Now it's my favorite part, finding which Size socket. No. no, it's just barely too big. Wait, no, that's the same one. Okay, here we go. This is it. Oh my gosh. How is that even how is that even possible? Alright, last try. Aha! Okay, I don't know how, but I managed to finally install that front splitter. You know, I actually, I kind of like the gloss. I think, I think it works. I think it looks good. And <laughs> now it's only a matter of time before I tear it off. Now this thing can go in the 
Garbage, wow. You can recycle a, an old splitter, right? So obviously this video is all about fixing everything that's wrong with this car using Amazon. I definitely wanted to change the emblems to black. So here we have them here. These are clearly not OEM. I know I'm a total poser, but hey, it gets the job done. And yeah, you get the idea. Also, they give us some uh, Stingray logos. This is not a Stingray, thank goodness. And also the, uh, the black Corvette logo for the back. And along the lines of me being a total poser, I mean, clearly these are not going to come in handy at all, purely for looks. I think we just do one up here somewhere, wherever this goes. I think it goes right there. You know, it's not OEM, but it's the right size, and that looks good. So I'm going to just grab my credit card and slide it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's working great, actually. Oh yeah, wow, that is, that is filthy. <laughs> oh man, look at that. All right, once I set this, there is no going back. Let's take this tape off. Honestly, that looks pretty good. Like you would have no idea that that is a $20 badge set from Amazon. That looks amazing. Okay, that looks nice. We can, hey, we can work with that. That looks really good. <laughs> now for the ultimate poser mod, we're gonna put this thing in right here. Actually, I think that's gonna look pretty sweet. I know, I know, poser, but hey, it looks cool. And maybe it's gonna save my life one day. Uh, you never know, but probably not. By the way, if anyone wants an old Corvette emblem, actually two and the letters, uh, hit me up, you yeah, know, for free. All right, well, all in all, with a couple hundred bucks for the front splitter, 60 bucks for this thing. I don't know why that was 60 bucks, by the way, whatever. And then like 25 for all the emblems. I mean, I'd have to say that looks pretty good for what you're getting under 300 bucks, I think. I mean, that looks awesome. <laughs> but guys, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. We're gonna do this every week, hoping for two times a week. We're on vlog three now. I mean, we have five more to go. We're gonna hit our goal. We're good. So again, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.